seems that every single year, Denmark ranks number one in the World Happiness Index. But why is it that this country in the Nordics has created this perfect environment for happiness to grow? That's what we're here to find out. I'm Philip Tramper, and welcome to the Danish School of Happiness. Today's lesson in the Danish School of Happiness, we're going to investigate bike culture in Copenhagen and green living in this wonderful city. Let's check it out. Okay, so right now we're standing at Esplanaden, or as it would be called in English, the Esplanade. And that's actually the first site of Denmark's first bicycle path which was built in 1892. And that's how a whole bike culture kind of got kickstarted is because the infrastructure was available so early on. Now in Copenhagen, there's over 350 kilometers worth of bike paths. And in all of Denmark, there's over 12,000 kilometers of bike paths. The Danes have really taken advantage of that. In fact, in Copenhagen alone, almost 35% of commuters are riding their bikes back and forth. It doesn't matter if you're 12 years old going to school or if you're even the prime minister of Denmark, there's a chance that you're gonna be biking here. I was down by the lake, I sat there until late in the afternoon. So right now we're sitting around the, uh, the central lakes of Copenhagen, and this is basically where the city was built around. After the first bike path was built on the Esplanade, it became pretty popular to get a bike for yourself. At that point in time, there were only 3,000 bikes in Copenhagen. But just a little bit over 40 years later, in 1935, there was 300,000 bicycles in the Copenhagen area. So. That just meant we need more bike paths to fit all these bikes. And that's why it became natural to find a centrally located place to build bike paths all the way around to get easy access to the city. In fact, biking is so popular in Denmark that nine out of 10 Danish people own a bicycle. But let's go talk to some real bike culture experts. Let's head over to the Danish cycling embassy and hear what this Danish bike culture is all about. And when you ask the Copenhageners and ask the Danes why they cycle. You will not get any answers like it's because of the climate or to reduce CO2 emissions. All these are side effects, but the answer will be because it's a quick, easy, and efficient way to get around. It's nice to get a little bit of exercise every day. It's a good way to start the day. We don't ask people to cycle 10, 15, 20 kilometers. There are people that do that on a daily basis. But, I mean, just cycling one kilometer or two kilometer or maybe three kilometers is actually not that much. Almost everybody can do that. Mm -hmm. When do they do it? Well, they do it when it's comfortable and when it's safe. And that, of course, means that you need to build a lot of bicycle infrastructure. Okay, so now we've talked about the importance of biking and bike culture in Copenhagen. Let's go check out some of their parks and see what it's really like to be a Copenhagener in a park in Denmark. One of the really cool things about Copenhagen is that there are so many green areas available to people who live here. Now right now we're in one of the oldest parks in Copenhagen, it's called Fellepagen, and it's also the biggest. It's about 58 hectares, and that's in the middle of the city. In fact, there are so many green areas in Copenhagen that they say about 8 out of 10 Copenhageners are within 300 meters walking distance from either a park or a beach. With having so many places available, it's kind of easy to understand why parks are such a popular place for people to hang out. Danish people love coming to parks. They come here to hang out with family, friends, colleagues. Everything ranges from barbecuing outside, playing sports, just drinking beers and having fun. That's the end of today's lesson in the Danish School of Happiness. We talked a lot about bike culture, parks in Copenhagen, I thought for the last couple seconds we'd stop by probably the most famous park in Copenhagen, and that's Kongs Hale. But I'm really not going to bore you with any more statistics and information. I just came here to relax Danish style.